Welcome back everyone to another Polygon Matic video. Today I want to go over a proposal for Uniswap V3 to deploy on Polygon, a recent interview with Sandeep Nailwall, and then we will be covering the current price action of Matic. So if you do enjoy staying up to date with everything Polygon and crypto related, make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss out. Consider following me on Twitter where I post daily information around the Polygon ecosystem at NARB Trading. Gently tap on that like button and let's get right into it. So the first thing that I want to touch on for today is a tweet here from Mihailo, one of the co-founders of Polygon. Dear Uniswap community, we've submitted a proposal to deploy Uniswap v3 to Polygon. We firmly believe this is the right move for this deployment to happen for reasons explained in this proposal. Looking forward to your questions and feedback. So a proposal for Uniswap to come on over to Polygon, to me this makes a whole lot of sense. And let's quickly go over some of the reasons on why this should happen that Mihailo pointed out. So first, Polygon POS has the second strongest DeFi ecosystem right after Ethereum L1. So right off the bat, Polygon already has a thriving ecosystem with many users, many dApps, and sometimes even more users than Ethereum. And number two, deploying to Polygon POS can bring a lot of benefits. User base growth, huge savings for users, higher user activity, higher revenue, market capture, and return to the original DeFi vision. So obviously a huge benefit here is their users would be saving a lot of money, and this would also bring them even more users for themselves. There's been many projects that have significantly increased their user base after deploying on Polygon due to a better overall user experience, so it truly just seems logical for Uniswap to do this. Next here, Polygon is also willing to incentivize Uniswap adoption. So Polygon is willing to allocate some capital from their treasury to incentivize liquidity. Polygon is also battle tested. So the POS chain has been live for quite some time now. It's experienced high activity. It has millions of transactions each day with hundreds of thousands of daily active users and also a high amount of TVL. And then lastly, obviously Polygon is aligned with Ethereum and its values. So a lot of good points made here. He does go more into to detail with each one of these reasons and I highly recommend you go over this and I will leave this down below for you all. But this would certainly be a big move for both Uniswap and Polygon in my opinion and I was really happy to see this proposal. I hope Uniswap makes the right decision here. Crypto Twitter took this really well and there's a lot of positive feedback on this and I really hope that we do see this happening soon. But just wanted to quickly touch on that proposal and next up for today I want to show you guys two clips from a recent interview with Sandeep Nailwall. And in this first clip he is asked about the long-term goals of Polygon. How does he see Polygon many years down the road and when true mainstream adoption starts to enter crypto? Absolutely. I mean, you are very right. And I've said multiple times that one of the long-term goals of Polygon after solving scalability is to become invisible. Like all the blockchain should become invisible. The developer, so exactly. you know, yes. today, as you rightly said, that when the developer sets up a server for his website, he doesn't think that who is the ISP, who is the, yes. you know, <laughs> which kind of optical fiber it is going through, which company <laughs> service I have to take yes, and all that. Yes. All that is taken care with some, uh, this thing, right? With some level of abstraction. And that's why, like, you know, I'm very excited, uh, you know, on what you are do doing also at Morales. And there are so many, uh, you know, teams who are doing uh, this kind of, uh, like, abstraction work. And I think in future, in, in three to five years, solutions like yours will be more visible to the developer and nobody will be talking about blockchain. Like, I mean, I was telling yesterday, that in next five years, if we are still fighting by, about Polygon, Ethereum, <laughs> yeah, Solana, yeah. And all that, then as an industry, we would have failed, right? In five years, we nobody should be talking about this. This should be in the background and we can do yeah. our Twitter wars in the background. It, it, exactly. We should be talking about and the people should be talking about apps. So he makes a really good point here, and we've previously discussed this here on the channel. There will come a time where nobody cares or knows what chain they're even using. The majority of people will not know the difference between an L1 or an L2. That will be something that is completely running in the background. Very similar to the internet, most people don't actually know how the internet works, right? You simply click on the web browser and search for whatever you're looking for. You're not really thinking too deeply about what software you're using or how your website even works. So the end goal, as Sandeep said, roughly five years down the road is for Polygon to basically be invisible. And these really early stage discussions on which chain is better than this other chain will most likely die down a lot. 
But in this final clip, Sandeep is asked about the rebrand that took place earlier this year from Matic Network to Polygon. Polygon exploded in growth when this rebrand happened, and Sandeep touches on a few reasons on why he believes Polygon has become such a big success. And at that time, it was so small. So uh, wh why did you guys rebrand? And did you also feel that you got this massive, massive push after that? Of course, it's not just because of the rebrand, but do you feel that it it's, helped? It's actually, the, it's actually the expansion of the vision also. So there are two yeah. main things that happened. And that's what I was telling that, you know, whoever meets me, and they asked me, where should I invest? I said, bro, like I am working 20 hours a day. You know, you should invest in, in Matic. So this is the same thing my, to my family also. They see that, you know, these guys are crazy working, you know, so hard on all the things. Someday they will figure out. So, but there are few things that are very important in this. One is that, you know, we focused on our, on our mainnet and building a good production ready mainnet, which gave us a lot of adoption and people did not see it. And these two things happen in parallel. People... You know, there was a meme, actually, you would have also seen, there was a meme on Twitter that, you know, the whole of whole of Web3 is sleeping on Polygon. Nobody, like, you know, yes, the, yes, the yes. last circle never saw about Polygon, right? So this was happening, but we had some applications which were exploding, like uh, Polymarket really exploded, then Aave Gotchi, and then, you know, Quickswap became big and all that. So these applications were coming and becoming bigger and bigger. Then uh, we did the rebranding because we expanded our vision. We said that, the only complaint that we that we were getting from people is that, oh, you know, you are guys are building Plasma and Plasma is dead. And, you know, our, you know, uh, discussion between the team was that, you know, eventually if we want to build a platform which stays there for decades to come, it has to be approach agnostic. We don't want to tie down with the approach that, okay, this is the approach we are doing, right? Yes, so we yes, want yes. to be approach agnostic. And that approach agnosticism led to a massive expansion in our vision we said that okay instead of being one chain we are going to be multi chain it's ethereum and all that and public saw that narrative and then our adoption was going up 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 and then we did that defi campaign which all all networks are now copying right the the ave the ave campaign that we are doing everybody is now trying to do that liquidity <laughs> mining and equity all of those that is our playbook right now we then we did the mergers and you see now a lot of projects are trying to do the mergers and all that. So we are always thinking what next we are going to do. Right? Yes, so, yes. So, so, but these three, four things happened together. We branded to a better brand. Uh, you know, we brought in more international people in our team. Our adoption really started picking up. And then the DeFi ecosystem really exploded on Polygon. So all of them together, like, you know, took Polygon to crazy heights. So there are many reasons why Polygon really started to take off. The rebrand certainly helped them a lot. And the push to being a multi-chain scaling solution was very big as well. And he also touched on their previous focus on Plasma because there was a time where it was looking like Plasma was going to be the scaling solution for Ethereum. But then rollups came around and rollups are now basically what all Layer 2 projects are working towards. So it's certainly been an incredible year. If you guys want to watch this full interview, I will leave this link down in the description. I really like this interview because they got more into the tech side of things, which you don't get as much with interviews with regular media outlets. But those were the updates that I wanted to go over for today. Let's now go ahead and move on over to the Matic price and chart. So Matic today is at $1.63 and the market cap still hovering right around $11 billion. And over the last few days, we've been seeing a test at this major support zone for Matic. So far, the price is respecting this upward trend line, which is obviously great to see. And again, I showed you guys the RSI indicator in the last video, and it is starting to enter oversold territory. But we are starting to now see a small bounce throughout the entire market since having this pullback. Taking a look at Bitcoin, starting to see this price work its way back up. Is this a full-on confirmation that we're only going to go up from here? Of course not. But over the next few days, we will be getting a much clearer perspective on that. And then moving over to the ETH chart, we're seeing something very similar as well, bouncing off support after some sideways action here at the recent bottom. So as we've been discussing over the last few days, a lot of support being tested all around, and so far these major support zones are holding up. And other than that, folks, really just a waiting game at this point. Keep your eyes on these key areas. This $1.50 $1.60 level for Matic is key in the short term. And as always, zoom out, look at the bigger picture. We're simply experiencing another pullback and have a little patience and everything will be just fine. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope everyone is having a great weekend. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed so you're never missing out. And I'll see you all next time.